And the winner here advances to our final four show next week. And you can't win the championship unless you're on that show. Exactly right. Patty with a pro tour victory and a some strike. years back. Starts this game rather convincingly. He's bowling well. He uh, knocks off uh, Ken Palmer. Something no one has done for a long time. Ooh. Finally, the nine pin tumbles over. First look at Bob Dietzel. Bob out of uh, North Situate, Rhode Island. System consultant for AT&T and... Look at that strike right back, huh? The two 300 games going, Mike. <laughs> Wife, Sean, daughter, Barbara, son, Mike, and uh, grandson, MJ. I'm going out on the limb. I'm like, anybody breaks the world record, I'm going to give them $10. 279 Anybody pretty, beats that on TV, pretty can sturdy, I borrow five? Pretty sturdy <laughs> limb you're going to man. <laughs> Although, uh, our director, uh, Pete Tomlinson, he, he probably could conjure up a saw for you. <laughs> no, and Pete, he'd probably back. tell me what limb to get on because it's already half cut. Nine for Bob as he leaves the number four. I tell you, Bob does well. He's only been on tour for six years, and he's been second at Barnum, third at Barnum, and third at Wamaset. And, uh, he qualifies quite often. Yeah. Yes, he does. He's a good bowler. Right on the nose with that one. He's got uh, strike spare to start off the match. Very confident, solid performer is Bob Dietzel. And uh, I think you're going to have to beat him, right? He's not going to give you anything, and he's not going to pack his suitcase early. Patty is uh, employed by Estes Express in uh, Baltimore. You give them a little bit of a plug, right? Why not? Talk about his numbers, uh, 149 average, high game of 238, high series of 574. Patty, over the last two or three years, has really battled the, uh, what would you say, like the consistency. He just is not throwing the ball the same speed or had not been. I think he looks to me like he's coming around, and it's... Uh, Sort of out on the lanes, 20 feet, out on the lanes, 10 feet, uh, throw the ball, let's say, 20 mile an hour to, to 30, you know, that range. And that's a very difficult thing uh, to control when you have the leverage and all that Patty has. It's, and it's been, you know, a frustrating few years for Patty. And uh, I, for one, it uh, would like to see him come around and... Uh, just do what he has the ability to do, and that's knock down a lot of pins. The winds will come if uh, you start putting the ball in the right place enough times. Well, nice shot. guy shot his right, and a fine tournament like he's had might be all he needed to turn him around and give him that confidence that uh, we've seen bowlers need to get to the next level. Well, that, that's exactly what Patty's lacking. There's no, he has not lost any ability, uh, the God-given ability. He's not lost the desire. Uh, he's just been beat down a little bit. Uh, Bob Dietzel. Look at that strike. Solid performer here, too. I tell you, he's a uh, very basic game if you watch Bob. Not bowled well. He had uh, over 11.90 for his uh, qualifying score. As you see, the final spot at the uh, foul line where he delivers the ball. First time he's qualified for the 1992 season, but uh, he has been in the uh, in and amongst the qualifying often, as evidenced by his uh, second and third place finishes. Kind of one of those quiet guys that just, for some reason, keeps showing up on Sunday. Yep. And uh, the only way you really show up on Sunday if, is if you knock enough pins down on Saturday, in which he apparently has been doing. He's got a high game of uh, 237 and a high series of 553, along with an average of 147. And uh, he went four and one in the head to head.
fact, the only game that he lost, his opponent threw a 173 at him. He had a 167. Also knocked off Peter Pierce, Larry Ailey, and Mitch Lewinsky on the way to his 4-1 record. That was in the uh, semifinal head-to-head -head competition. Oop. Through the middle again. That's uh, the only thing that we've seen that uh, Patty has done wrong is going through the middle, and that really isn't wrong. That's just a little bit unfortunate. A little tough luck and just, luck. Yep. just, just a tad uh, what was lacking in, in the comps of confidence, and, and you stuff the ball, and he has that ability to be that accurate. You know, it, it's a, a well-thrown ball, and it's just just a tag. I mean, there's 10. Nice there's 10 nice there. 10. Yep. We'll circle that frame, because I think that may play a part in this game before it's over. Three bowlers waiting in the wings. Bill Honeycutt, Eddie Darling, and Kenny Harrell. Winner here advances to next week's show. Good ball. Masters victory for Patty Lacey. Slid by the right side. Picks it up for another 10 bucks. And Bob Dietzel will step in. Following the fifth frame. We're at the Greenway Bowl East in Baltimore, Maryland. World's largest duck pin bowling center, 68 lanes strong, and finishing up an elimination process which started with 185 of the member bowlers of the Duck Pin Professional Bowlers Association. The house that has been a long time supporter of the Pro Tour, Mike, and uh, I know that all the Pro Tour members really appreciate what takes place here at Greenway East. To, to be able to get it just creates an atmosphere that, other than T-Bowl with 48 lanes in Newington, Connecticut, is uh, an atmosphere that just, you don't have the opportunity to create the atmosphere that this place can by putting all the good bowlers in the, the center at one time. Bob Dietzel picks up 10. 27 pin lead, Mike, 87-60 through five frames with Bob Dietzel, 27 pins. Frame six for Bob. Patty Lacey looking at the scoreboard. To figure out what's uh, happening in the match. 185 bowlers. Yep. Is that what you mentioned uh, started? There's there another is. strike for Bob Dietzel. Bob was ready to pack his bag Saturday at the end of his qualifying. Uh, we sort of tend to think 1,200, uh, 150 average for the eight-game qualifying, and Bob was a little under that with uh, 1187. And I said, Bob, I'll, don't pack your bags. I'm not too sure. And uh, sure enough, it got him this far. Well, Patty missed a single the last time. Let's see if he can uh, come back and pick it up here. A 10 pin this time. Oops. Overthrew it a little bit that time. Twice in a row. Yep. 69 after six. Gotta just get himself back together, forget what his opponent has, and then uh, bowl the last four frames the best way you know how. You go 20, 40, 60, 80, all of a sudden you have 149, and it's not over yet. Patty, a spot bowler, as you can see, he really locks his eyes in. There's oh. a strike. Beautiful. If that were a triple, he wouldn't have missed the two singles, right? But <laughs> with his talent, he knows more than you and I or anyone else watching that uh, it should be two spares. It could have been strikes, but it should have been spares. 
to Bob Dietzel, who does have a strike in the last frame, looking to make it a double here in the seventh. So very close to a double. And one behind the five, taking out the nine. And pretty convincing lead at this point. Uh, some 37 or 8 pins. Bob looking to pick up the five pin here for the mark. He's got it. One oh seven sixty nine. Both bowlers have marks in the seventh. A strike for Patty Lacey, a spare for Bob Dietzel. See Patty sort of looking at uh, the situation as he glances up at the scoreboard. Drove that one through. Three, six, ten on the right with the four on the left and seven, six on. 123, 79 plus for Patty. But Patty's mark is a strike. And that's, it gives you the opportunity to throw the double or triple. Nice try. Finish up with either uh, 132 or 133 here. We'll have Bob Dietzel on the eighth. So he covers it, and Patty Lacey will step in. He'll try to put a couple of strikes together for a double here as he's uh, looking to climb back in the match. And basically, Joe, he does need the double to get back in the match. He sure does. He sure does. He's 30-some pins down, and uh, just not enough frames left to catch up with spares. He doesn't want to let this opportunity get away. Let's see if he executes. See, it, it's, it's such a fine line. I mean, that was a good ball, and it's a tough adjustment for him to make, but he just, he drove it through. Just unfortunately, he's uh, so big and strong that, that that's a natural pitch. And 36 pins behind, Mike, with two frames to go, as Patty will move over and bowl frame nine. He's going to have to put up uh, a mark and hope that uh, Bob Diesel does a mark because he'll be shut out by the time the 10th frame comes around. He sure will. Uh, matter of fact, if Patty were to catch up four strikes in a row, it would give him 156, and Bob would need one mark in the last two frames. If he doesn't strike here, then the best he can do is 46, and Bob's in pretty easy... Uh, to accomplish to get to 146 when you're 133 with two frames to go. Patty didn't strike, has the four seven remaining. Made it. Except the 10. 106 plus, and as we mentioned, the, the very best he can do is 146, and we can, you wouldn't even be going out on a limb to say that uh, Bob Dietzel will be back. So Bob will finish up here in the ninth frame. And the 10th frame, he'll finish uh, the match first, and we'll work on our final score. One, three, six, ten. Spare break. Run it right down the right side. And Bob Dietzel will be facing off against Bill Honeycutt, the winner there facing Eddie Darling in the semifinals, and then Kenny Harrell awaiting the challenger for that top spot. Nice spare for Bob Dietzel. You know, one more ball, Mike, and uh, this game will be history. Well, for Patty Lacey, though, it should be a uh, good learning experience and a confidence builder. He shouldn't look at the uh, negative side of uh, the experience, but the positive side. He knocked off uh, a bowler who had been pretty much unbeatable before this and one. worked his way to a point where... Uh, you know, he'll finish no worse than fifth in the tournament, which is outstanding. 180 bowlers, Mike. Yep. Uh, we got a winner. Bob Dietzel's going to go into the 150s, and Patty cannot make it to that point. Okay, so Bob Dietzel, uh, winner here on Duckman Magic. He finishes up. It's nine in the box. 
154 for Bob Dietzel, and he wins it. We'll be back to wrap things up here from the Greenway Bowl right after this. Back here at the Greenway Bowl East in Baltimore, Maryland, we've got the Pro Tour continuing, and next week it's the Final Four. Mike, when we come back next week, we'll have three bowlers taking a shot at top seed Kenny Harrell. All right. Join us for that. For Joe Reiner, I'm Mike Sellis. See you again next time on Duckpin Magic. <laughs>